all righty what is going on ladies and gents welcome back to the channel for another market update hope everybody's having a lovely day and with that being said let's get into the ta all right guys excitement is a coming all right so first things first i'm gonna point out both spy and qq do have your 15 minute bearish divergences if you are not new to the channel, then you know this is exactly what I look for at tops and bottoms. And I'm not saying like major tops and bottoms. I'm saying, you know, one of these guys or one of those guys or one of these guys or one of these guys. All right. If you are new here to the channel, I will just point out what I mean. All right. Okay. Do you see right here? You see how you made a higher high right there? Boom. You made a lower low right there. Well, guess what? You then fell quite a bit there. You fell a whole, uh, what is that, $13. What happened next? All right, you made a higher high here. You made a lower low here. What happened next? You went from 435 all the way up to 443, and then you pulled back. What happened when you pulled back? You went up for another high. And since you didn't have the 15-minute bearish divergence going on right here on this pullback, you could have, you know, it was relatively safe to assume. You're probably going to go up and make that high, and then there you go. Then you got your sell. What happened after that? Well, you came all the way down here. All right, and no, you did not have one going on over here, but you did have this beautiful bull structure that we did point out here on the channel. And you know, when people were calling us crazy, we were like, no guys, I'm serious. I'm not like, you know, I'm not gonna sit there saying I'm not gonna sound like a perma, perma bull over here. I know it looks like the sky is falling, but it was not falling. It was actually just, you know, consolidating in a bullish manner leading right into this news catalyst. And uh, we got our pop. Now, here's the thing, guys. We do have that 15-minute bearish diverge going on right here. And if you want to really see the power of this, we're just going to zoom in here. It doesn't have to be something crazy, guys. But do you see right there? You made this higher high? Well, guess what? That's by 449.32 up to 449.34. But what is it? What is it? It's a higher high and a, a lower high over here, guys. You have your bearish divergence. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but I'm serious. They happen, and they're insanely accurate. I don't know what to tell you other than uh, I can show you what I'm looking at, and you guys can you know, make your own decisions what you want to do with this info. There you go. All right. I'm just going to say... QQQ just peeped its head up above, just like it did over here. I know there was uh, there were a few comments saying that it looked like distribution. I'm going to have to agree with you. All right? I'm not going to deny, but I'm also going to say, you wanted a blow off top. You wanted to doubt the blow off top. The blow off top is going to uh, it's, it's gonna do some things, and it did some things, and now we have a giant gap here. Here's the thing. Let's say we do just chill right here. All, all day we go for the next you know 50 minutes here it's 309 p.m eastern standard time we got until 4 p.m eastern standard time we got 51 minutes left on the clock boys and girls and ladies and gents guess what what if you have a gap down tomorrow then you have a sick nasty island reversal i bet that would catch a lot of people off guard but i'm also going to say i'm still going to be bullish on that tip until proven otherwise because then you're probably going to get a lot of people being bearish because you just broke out to a new high i don't think it's going to just end like that it could all right, I'm sure you still probably have people calling for a crash, but wouldn't it be a lot more likely that you're just going to get a break and retest and then boom, buyers do end up saving the day over at uh, 518 down there. Now, QQQ, it just peeped its head up here. I still don't think that QQQ is going to be uh, just stalling out here and falling now. I think QQQ is probably going to go a little bit further than what it has just done. I'm also going to say you got a chart like this. This thing looks like it's probably going to take out the high. And then you got a chart like this. And this thing just broke out of this thing we've been we've been pointing out. Now, in the four-hour time frame, we had already broken out before today. The way I had it drawn with extended hours over on the four-hour time frame. But today, you clear as they did have a gap out of this. And you just back-tested the previous range. Okay, you literally back-tested the high of this, 904.10. I'm just going to put it out there. This thing does not look bearish to me. And above here, you have absolutely nothing between right here. That is a $20 gap. Feel free. There's your trade idea of the day. We're going to have more. So you stay tuned. You stay tuned. Actually, let's give a brief little shout out. You know, guys, I'm telling you, I'm early on a lot of things, but I, I do catch a lot of big movers. So I will, I will caution you right there. Patience. My, my own patience and discipline is really my main focus because, guys, I'm really nice with these charts. I fully acknowledge it. 
think I make that clear in these videos, and I think the videos will speak for themselves. I think if you're new to this channel, I think you're going to enjoy my work, so please just give my work a shot. I put time and effort into it every day, and I will point out when I see things. And when everybody wants to get all perma bearish on us, I'm probably not going to be in that club. I'm probably going to be in the club across the street and be like, hey, guys, it's empty over here right now, but it's about to be popping because they're all going to FOMO in. And then you got things like this. All right. Four hour RSI, as simple as it may be, you get the bullish divergence going on. Comes right up at support. You did not hold the golden pocket, so you knew you were probably going to retrace the whole move, guys. The th the techniques and the uh, you know the things we discuss on this channel, we only discuss the stuff that works, guys. What? Well, I don't know everything that works. I know for a fact there's other things that work. There's people in my Discord that do things that I'm like, holy crap! I didn't you know know we could be combining that and you know what I do, and it's probably going to have a much like it's going to have a great outcome. All right, so I don't know everything. I'm not going to claim to know everything, but what I will claim is that, yes, what we discuss here in these videos, this is just everything that I found that works, and I think it's going to keep working. So there's that. Now, Avgo did do some crazy things. You broke down underneath the 0.786 Fib, and once you break the Golden Pock, you do know it's probably not going to be a retracement anymore, and boom, you know it's probably going to have 100% retracement. It's going to retrace the whole move, and boom. You did have a 100% retracement, but you did have the bullish diverge going on right here down on the 4-hour RSI extended hours on ETH here. All right, extended trading hours. Um, and yeah, it kind of looks picture perfect. And now you literally came all the way back up here. Now, what am I going to show you right here? I'm going to show you that you already surpassed the top of the golden pocket at the 0.786 FIB. So I do think it's probably going to come up here and take out the high. Congrats if anybody just held on. All right. Holy sweet baby Jesus. They they had they had to wait until today to do this. I sold my cons early in the day because I was like, no freaking way. I was looking at this chart last night and I was like, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I just timed this so like I didn't do the good timing. I'm not gonna deny it. But I I was in my head, I was like, I think there's a hundred dollar move on the table tomorrow. It was more than a hundred dollar move. All right. I was like, holy crap, if it just does what it did today again contracts are going to pump and i'm going to be quite all right on those guess what no they ended up freaking one of them went to like four grand i was like damn i sold it for under two you gotta be kidding me so i could have held on and all my holding on would have actually netted me over 100 percent gains in the end on an expensive ass contract i would have been hyped about it but i am going to tell you guys right over here in nvidia i do think it is going to be trekking up towards this 975 level which is the high of this candlestick 974. My apologies off by a whole ass dollar. Part of my French. You get above 974, and I think it's a straight shot to a thousand uh the thousand dollar psych level. All right, but it really does depend on what you are going to be doing over here on QQ. If if you do end up pulling back here and you have a little bit of retracement, let's let's clean up this chart here. Let's get rid of this. We'll get rid of some of these zones that are less relevant, guys. As we start moving back downwards, we can re-add stuff to the chart. But I really always like, and I do suggest, having no financial advice on the channel, but I'll, I'll help you out with charting uh, because, you know, I, I think I'm decent with that. Uh, yeah, have a clean chart. You want to clearly understand, like, you know, the key levels, key pivot points, all right, your trend lines and every, everything you want to look at uh, your chart. You don't want to be have, like, a blurred picture there. All right, like I know if it comes down to 44402, that's going to be support. All right, and if you really now want to do something since we took off of those those other demand zones, now we can populate up here because I, I had a chart populated down here. Well, Golden Pocket, guys, we're not going to have that on the chart because it's, you know, not, probably not going to take out this uh, uh, demand zone right here. But if it does, it's probably just going to bounce down here. Now, then if it breaks over there, yeah, we're going to be looking for the Golden Pocket. And we'll put it back on the chart. But I am just putting it out there. I don't think this thing is done. I think we are going to continue higher. No, we did not go for the 450 freaking uh, target. But guess what, guys? Next wave up, we're, we're tapping that. Now, I will uh, remind everyone, uh, there's something I had a little thought about today. Guys, this is the blow off top. I forgot. I was, I was calling for a blow off top. And we just have to be cautious about buying this dip. Because I told you guys, I'm looking for a blow off top. And people were like, no, no, inflation, no. Well, guess what? Powell came out dovish for some reason, even though we've had these hot inflation prints. So it don't even matter, I guess. It don't matter. Uh, but guess what? No, 
does not matter, I guess, what the inflation, uh, you know, indications are coming in at our indicators. But guess what? What rather matters is the charts and the charts were setting up in some bullish manners. OK, and I will point out some of these things still have not gone. All right. You saw what happened with Abgo. You saw what happened with SMCI. Congrats to anybody who took SMCI. I did mention in yesterday's video that we did have a bullish divergence here, 2683, and the other one is 2683 as well. And I did also point these out. These were the last two bottoms. And then you got that bad boy going on over there with that bullish divergence. You did that. You took out that low. Guess what? You had that going on. Congrats if you did end up playing some SMCI. Now, boy, I just wish I, you know... I, I, I've been trying to play these chips and, you know, I haven't done the worst, but I definitely, definitely, def I have not, I'm very far from being the best with these chips. I was pointing out the chips back here and I just did not have the cojones to step up to the play and play them, but I also didn't understand it. All right. I'm not going to lie. I had an epiphany somewhere, somewhere right here. I had an epiphany. I was like, yeah, but guess what? I could have been, uh, you know, doing this, but not even on SMCI. I was trying to do the NVIDIA. And I'm just saying, if I had the same amount of capital and I'd use the same expirations on some of these other names on certain days, they just go one by one. And I just watch them like, holy Jesus, why couldn't you just have like 3K in that guy? Holy, that would have been a 3K, uh, 30K day. That's insane. All right. So some of these guys, I do think that like they're queuing up to go big again. SMCI is one of them. I do think it's going to continue higher. That's kind of what I'm getting at here. If you see a pullback, I think it's going to be a buying opportunity. People want to short the beast, but I really don't think it's the best idea. I think you're going to make a lot more money going to the upside. I was looking at the contracts for the next week. They also ran a couple hundred percent. So I was looking at contracts for today. Oh, they uh, ran thousands of percent. So, you know, things are looking pretty crazy, all right? Um, but we'll move on. Tesla, guys, you are stalling out here right at your supply zone. This is exactly what you don't want to be doing. If you can get your head above there, I think you probably break out from this. And when you break out from this, that's when we'll be watching it, just so we know we will be mentioning it here on the channel. And I want to personally see this. All right, right there. We will have that. Now, I do want to bring this up. VIX, queuing up for the reversal. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but we did have the bullish diverge going on here on the hourly RSI. I know people say you can't do TA on the VIX, but I continuously do TA on the VIX. And if you think otherwise, then just follow along with my work. And I guarantee my, my, my work, it is going to prove you wrong. I can guarantee it. And guys, my that was easy button. I sat down on my desk. Guess what? All right. Stopped home, you know, in between work. And uh, I'm on a break. Guess what? I sit down. That was easy button. I swear it misses me, guys. All right. It does the weirdest things. It, it does miss me. It, see now see i hit it that time but i did not hit it oh it did it again i didn't hit it that time see now it's it's all excited i don't understand but at the same time guys you know that was easy all right that was easy i just had to you know stick to the guts and guys if you pull back i do think you're just going to follow that arrow i'm just putting that one out there but that's really what i'm looking for i'm not gonna you know talk about you know the same things over and over again here in this video I don't want to just also sound like a perma bull, but yeah, I think the dip, I think we're going to get that dip and I think that dip is going to be in. And then I'm either way, dip or no dip. I'm looking for 525 on SPY. That's my target over here, right? That's a FIB extension. I took it off the chart just to clean it up. Um, but yeah, over there, as you can see, you know, I think these do have a solid shot of pin. This thing has been winding up for a very long time. We've been in the same exact range ever since this gap up. That is a whole freaking month. That is a whole month. You see what Dow is doing? All right. This is actually one that I'm going to point out is breaking down. I did not see that one coming, but I think it also could be queuing up right there. Now, one that I'm just going to put on your radar here and I think is going to get ready. All right. This thing could get juicy. It could get juicy if the big boy NVIDIA, big brother NVIDIA over here would actually step up to play and do some things. All right. Can we get another $50 move? All right, can we get another $50 intraday move like we got over here, right? Let's just get it right right from right here. And uh, boom, we're at the high. If you break that, you're probably going to gap up. Maybe we gap up at, uh, the, you know, there's another $50 gap up. That's that's my <laughs> video outlook right there. All right, but I'm just saying, you have this thing that hasn't even ran yet. Why hasn't it ran yet? It's be, It's just waiting because then you have things like this. This just ran. 
INTC, I actually noticed you have a drastic increase. I forgot about that one until right now. Dang it, I wanted to play that today. Uh, looks like, uh, actually, no, that that would have been a nice, nice, decent little move there. Uh, but I don't know if it, uh, I, I'm just going to say right now, all right, I'm bullish on this pullback. I was looking for a break of this uh, 9 EMA right here. But this thing I do think is queuing up to go. You did have the bullish divergence going on right here from support. So if you do come back down to support, I would like to buy that. I'm actually just so I don't forget about it. I noticed this late at night last night. So let's put it over there. Um, I'm not going to pull up the option chain right now, but you do have, there was a drastic increase in this week's expiration as well as, well, no, I think it was next week's. And uh, yeah, I think it was April. I think it was the 28th and the April 5th expiration that I was looking on, but there was like some of these contracts, they went from like a thousand open interest to like volume was like 10,000. You're like, oh, someone's, and it was like all of them. And I was like, okay, someone's getting ready for this. That's, that's what I think's happening. So there's that. I do think chips are doing some things, and um, you got this guy going on over there. Now, I'm going to actually show you CCL. This is one that just broke out from the channel, all right? You had, well, it's not so much a channel. You did kind of have a uh, falling wedge going on right here, falling wedge pattern. But I don't want you to focus on that. I want you to focus on this. Massive, massive cup and handle. So you have a cup and handle right here, and then this is the handle for the cup. And then that would be the neckline up there. But then that cup and handle pattern is just the handle for this giant cup and handle, you know? And then here's going to be your neckline. So if you can break above the high of this candlestick, which is going to be 1955, that's when I think we have a massive move. So I know it's not something that's relevant right now, but I think it's going to be relevant. And I also think it could start heating up. So it might be something you would want to put on your radar. You don't have to, but if you like were wanting to trade you know, Car Carnival Cruise Lines for some reason. There you go. And what I'm also going to point out here is you have this uh, head and shoulders formation right here as well. So let's say you pull back right there. Well, there you go. Okay, so you're going to have that. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so that is that. Okay, and the last one, last but not least, we're going to be taking a look over here at Mr. Amazon. Amazon has been, just like QQQ, right, been consolidating for three weeks now. Not four weeks, but three weeks. This bullish-like manner, you peeked your head above it, and I don't think that's all she wrote. I think you're probably going to be making your ways up there. I don't think this looks bearish. I do think you're going to be continuing higher. Now, this is something that I also think, all right, Meta, I think you've also been doing this consolidation. I think you been ready for something over there microsoft just did end up breaking out like guys things are looking like this on the week like i don't think this is the end of the story right here so yeah i'm not a permable but i am looking for more upside i think some of these guys uh people wanted to doubt them but we have friday and if friday comes in blazing hot for some reason and we get some upside some of these things are going to set up nice into next week very nice into next week. Boom, boom, boom. Got a big green bar right there. All right. Is this the signal candlestick? I don't think this is the bottom. I shared my opinion before on this. I think you're probably going to something like this. All right. And then uh, from there, you can see this thing take a dive down there. And then I'm going to buy that thing. But with like, like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and buy that with a lot of money on uh, just leap options. And I'm going to try and ride that thing. So I think it's going to be nice. So that's going to be that, guys. All right. With that being said, I will catch you all in the next one. You guys know what you're paying attention to over here on SPY. Ultimately, guys, you have nothing underneath like current price here. You have nothing until the 520.62. We're going to call this like gap support here. And then, well, it's your gap. All right. So it is gap support. And then you also, oh, I can make that, make that green guy right there. Is that what it is? Yeah. 520.62. Break that. 518. We're watching for this demand zone. I do think there's a very solid shot that this zone right here holds just because you had a lot of this consolidation. Big breakout. I think it's probably going to hold and we're going higher. So there's that. IWM falling wedge above 207.77. You have nothing until you come up here to 210.41 where then you have your supply zone. So yeah, we are looking for sellers stepping over there, but I think you probably get up there. And DIA is just going kind of uh, nuts over here. Mr. Bananas. It's going nuts.
All right. And then you come over here to QQQ. And you just peeped your head up over there. And if you do pull back, what are we going to be watching? We're watching 44402. We're watching 44199. And underneath there, we're going to be watching the golden pocket. Dun, dun, dun. If today was the top. Or maybe the top's going to be up here. And by the time you get the pullback, it doesn't look so bad. Boom. All right, right there. So here are the key levels that you were paying attention to right here. You're paying attention to right here. You're paying attention to right here. Boom, boom, boom. Those are your bounce spots. I do think you're going higher. On SPY, where are your bounce spots? Boom, boom. Maybe you get the false break, like break down. Maybe, maybe, worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think you're very likely going to get buyers right here. I, th I think a lot of people just got caught off sides. I think you're going to get a chance to get the frack out, and then I think it's going higher. That's that. With that being said, I'll catch you all in the next one. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate your time. Appreciate the attention on my work here. And uh, with that being said, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Actually, let me mention it right here so I don't have to individually mention it to people. Guys, there's going to be a 30% off uh, coupon for your first month in the description. So it's going to be right underneath the, the link to WAP. So, you know, if you were one of the people who did message me, there are four people, you can use that. All right. With that being said, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Peace.